Good evening, everybody. Nobody in Ohio has been diagnosed with Ebola yet. But tonight, health officials say at least one person in Hamilton County is being monitored. Three people who came into close contact with an Ebola patient are under quarantine in Cuyahoga and Summit counties. A total of 153 people throughout Ohio are undergoing some type of monitoring for symptoms. Local 12's Anjanette Levy joins us from the Cincinnati Health Department with more on the monitoring that's going on here. Anjanette. Well, Cammie, we can tell you the person or people being monitored here in Hamilton County are undergoing the least serious type of screening. That's the good news. And health officials here at the Cincinnati Health Department say they're in touch with state and county health de department officials several times a day to monitor this situation. I think the fear factor is very high in this one. Dr. Stephen Englander of the Cincinnati Health Department won't say exactly how many people are being monitored for Ebola in Hamilton County, but he says it's fewer than eight people. What's being asked of the contacts is that they monitor their own temperature and simply call local health if there's an issue. When it comes to Ebola preparedness, the Ohio Department of Health isn't taking any chances. The state has a warehouse full of protective medical clothing on hand, and Ohio approved spending an additional $300,000 on personal protective equipment for anyone who might treat an Ebola patient. A Cincinnati company will supply some of the suits. They don it or put it on before they enter the room, and they take it off in a very specific manner as they leave the room. The extra precautions come after Amber Vincent, a nurse from Texas, traveled to Akron. She had treated an Ebola patient in Texas who died and was later diagnosed with the virus. Health officials say those being monitored in Hamilton County may have visited the same bridal shop in Akron as Vincent. Meanwhile, in Cincinnati, Dr. Englander says there's no need to panic over Ebola. We need to know what's going on in the world around us, but simply because it's dangerous or there's some unknowns, we shouldn't be quaking in fear that it's going to do terrible things here. And Dr. Englander said there are many other diseases and viruses that you can catch more easily than Ebola. Now those being asked to monitor their body temperatures and check themselves for symptoms and report those will have to do so for 21 days. Reporting live from the Cincinnati Health Department, Anjanette Levy, Local 12 News. Cami? All right, Anjanette, thank you. Health officials in northern Kentucky say they are not monitoring anyone for symptoms of Ebola. The state of Indiana has set up an Ebola call center to answer questions from the public.